Let's bring in Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Anna Napolitano for his reaction. What's the implication of this? That a federal judge here in New York City received evidence of some criminal activity within and among the confidential documents between Michael Cohen and his client, either the Trump organization or Donald J. Trump, the individual. Uh, EMAC, this federal judge authorized the FBI to invade the most sacrosanct communications we have in our system, which is the privileged communications between an attorney and the client. The only basis for that invasion would be evidence that the attorney and the client were engaged in criminal activity or that there's evidence of criminal activity in their communications. Now, what might that criminal activity be? If the Trump campaign paid the $130,000 to Stormy Daniels, ultimately, not directly, but ultimately. Out of campaign money. Out of campaign funds. Mm -hmm. And failed under oath to report that to the Federal Election Commission, that would be a felony. We don't know who would have committed the felony. I doubt that Donald Trump himself signed the Federal Election Commission. Yeah, we don't even know the, if the president would have known about that. Correct. Right? It would be yeah. unlikely that the candidate signs the Federal Election Commission. The reports it would have been done by Mr. Cohen or somebody else in the campaign's uh, behalf. If the campaign, instead of paying the 130000 received the benefit of her silence that was worth 130000 mm -hmm. and failed to report that, that would be uh, a crime. But you it know, would have to be something very, very serious for a U.S. attorney that Donald Trump just named here in Manhattan to uh, go to a federal judge here in Manhattan and say, here's why we need to invade the law firm of a lawyer whose only clients are Donald Trump and the Trump Organization and the subsidiary entities owned by the Trump Organization. Is it campaign, too, or no? I don't know if, okay. if Michael Cohen well, was here's the, the thing. I mean, lawyer. The president has already said he didn't, he said he didn't know about the payment to Stormy Daniels. But, you know, people are going to step back and say, wait a second, Robert Mueller's purview is a Russia probe. Why is he giving information to the Manhattan DA? E EMAC, this is the $64,000 question. When uh, the Supreme Court construed the constitutionality of special counsels, which was upheld, Justice Scalia dissented for this reason, saying there will be no limit to where they go. They're unrecognized in the Constitution. They're unanswerable. They'll just keep indicting people to justify their own existence. So this is the thing. Why didn't the FBI raid the Clinton Foundation offices, right? I can't, I can't tell you the answer to that, and, but it and I don't know. It seems like, it, you know, there, it, it, the Mueller probe has been criticized for looking like a fishing expedition. We know, and I've read through the language of it, his remit, it is wide. So to have Robert Mueller connected to this, Stormy Daniels, I mean, it seems a bit of a stretch. We'll know a little bit more as more comes out, because when a, when a raid of this nature uh, is conducted, the FBI and the DOJ have to report back to the judge who authorized the raid and list everything they took. They also have to list everything they took to Michael Cohen. If those documents ever become the list, ever becomes uh, public, we'll then know what they took. But EMAC, have you ever seen one of these raids? They don't stop and examine yeah. documents. They just grab they, what they can find. Right. So Computers, Donald, correct. Donald, servers, Donald yeah. J. Trump, the human being, is right to be concerned that his lawyer's documents, many of which came from him personally, are now in the hands of, of a uh, Justice Department that he can't control so, and that's trying to prosecute it. Let me, then that raises an important question. If this is only about, we don't know what it's about. Could they use the information they pick up in that raid for other other probes? Yes, they can. Did Jeff Sessions know about this? Because remember, this was conducted by right. federal prosecutors in New York City at Bob Mueller's request. It was not conducted by him or his team of FBI agents who work out of Washington, D.C. Does Mueller need the DOJ's permission to, uh, you know, or to tell the Jeff Sessions that they're g giving it to the Manhattan as, DA? As I understand it, Bob Mueller asked the U.S. attorney in Manhattan, who's an acting U.S. attorney, appointed by President Trump, not yet confirmed by the Senate, to conduct this raid. Here's the basis of the raid, whatever it was. That's right. a $64,000 question as well. They went to a federal judge. The federal judge authorized the raid. Before that raid took place, Jeff Sessions would have to know, hey, we're about to raid the lawyer of the president of the United States. Right. You, you have to say yay or nay on this. I don't know if they brought it to Attorney General Sessions or kept it from him. So they're hunting for information that would substantiate a, allegedly, hypothetically, a felony that campaign money was actually used to pay off to hush Stormy Daniels. They may be looking for something else. Or something. There have okay. been allegations 
that Michael Cohen was involved in President Trump's failed efforts to build a Trump International Hotel Moscow. Mm -hmm. And that Michael Cohen was the conduit between the the money people in Moscow and the president, who was going to put his name on it long before he was uh, the president. They may very well be looking for that to see if there's a Russia Trump yeah. financial dollar trail connection through Michael Cohen. In what capacity does Cohen represent Trump as his personal lawyer? As his personal mm -hmm. lawyer, and as the uh, corporate lawyer, and as the lawyer for all Trump. Entities. Now, bottom line, what's your take on this? Is this a controversial move by Robert Mueller? Highly controversial, and for the President of the United States, deeply disturbing. Okay, Judge, it's great to see you. Boy, okay. no matter we what covered we all talk the angles about, it's there. Great to be <laughs> Same here, Judge. We love having you on. Come back soon.